the holidays are arriving. It's the most flavorful time of the year. I love this time of the year. It's decadent meals, so many flavors, and your favorite people. Every night of the week, we're being invited to a different party, whether it's at the office or at a friend's house or you're hosting it. There's holiday parties all the time. There's so much going on this time of year. You've got presents, you've got parties, but really, to me, the most important part of the holiday season is the food. When I go to a holiday party, I expect something over the top or a little different than your average appetizer. So you want a festive cocktail, maybe something with a fun color, and there's got to be something that kind of jazzes up the desserts and the appetizers. We are about to share some amazing recipes that will definitely warm your spirit and impress your guests. Let's be honest, holiday parties are really cocktail parties, and the best part about them are the drinks. This apple pie infused bourbon is the best way to drink bourbon, but with a festive holiday twist. Cut one apple into cubes and place in a large mason jar. Add two cinnamon sticks and a fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg. Add in one bottle of bourbon. Screw the lid on tightly and let stand at room temperature for four days. After four days, shake the mason jar and then strain the apples. Add in one fourth cup of simple syrup and stir serve with a large ice cube and a cinnamon stick. This apple pie infused bourbon is incredible because it tastes just like a slice of apple pie, but you're drinking it. You might think of a mojito as a classic summer drink with the fresh herbs and the cucumber and the mint, but you can obviously just turn it into a holiday drink if you add in a few different spices and things like cranberry and seasonal ingredients. Take a glass and rub a fresh lime on the rim of the glass and dip the rim in sugar. Fill the glass with three tablespoons of marinated cranberries, crush the cranberries with a wooden spoon or muddle, and then add in three squeezed lime wedges, three squeezed orange wedges, three mint leaves, and muddle again. Add in one and a half ounces of rum, an ounce of orange bitters, an ounce of cranberry juice, and an ounce of orange juice. Then add your one ounce of mint syrup, cracked ice, and top with club soda. This holiday mojito is the perfect way to toast the end of the year. What's a party without eggnog? It's clearly not a holiday party. Eggnog is a holiday staple. And this version is a little bit different than your average eggnog. It has coconut milk and coconut rum, so you're getting a double dose of coconut. Heat water in a double boiler and pour in one and a half cups of heavy cream. Add two eggs and cook for four minutes while stirring constantly. Remove the pan from the heat. Add in 13 and a half ounces of coconut milk and 14 ounces of condensed milk. Add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon of ground cloves, and stir until mixed in well. Add in one cup of coconut rum and stir. Place the mixture in a glass bowl and set in the refrigerator to chill for three hours. Pour into glass cups and garnish with cinnamon and serve. Don't tell the other recipes, but this coconut eggnog might be my favorite. It's not the holiday season without eggnog, but that added tropical flavor of coconut really expands the flavor. There's probably no more nostalgic food in the world than mac and cheese. These mac and cheese bites are everything you love about mac and cheese wrapped up into one little package. When it comes to a cocktail party, the number one most important thing is finger foods. There's probably no more nostalgic food in the world than mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is pretty much everyone's favorite food, but it's obviously not the easiest to serve at a party. These mac and cheese bites are everything you love about mac and cheese wrapped up into one little package. Heat two tablespoons of butter on medium heat until melted and foamy. Add in two tablespoons of flour and mix well. Add in one and a half cups of milk and two ounces of cream cheese. Add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Mix well. In a bowl, take a half pound of cooked macaroni noodles and add in one beaten egg. Take the cheese mixture and pour it into the macaroni, mixing well. Take a greased muffin tin and spoon the macaroni into each cup. Add shredded cheddar cheese on top. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees and bake for 15 minutes. Garnish with chives and serve. The only thing better than macaroni and cheese is having it in baked bites where you can grab a bite, enjoy, and continue your conversation. 
Chicken liver pate is super decadent and it's great to have at a party because it automatically makes your spread a little classier. Add a half pound of chicken livers and a half of a small onion to a pot. Add one bay leaf, one small garlic clove, a fourth teaspoon thyme leaves, kosher salt, and a half cup of water. Stir well and bring the ingredients to a simmer and then cover. Cook for about five minutes until ready and add to the food processor. Mix until smooth. Add in a half stick of unsalted butter and mix well. Add in two teaspoons of cognac, black pepper, kosher salt, and cover. Smooth out till flat with fingers and let chill in the refrigerator. Remove from the fridge, uncover, and add melted butter to cover the dish. Sprinkle with thyme and place in refrigerator to cool until butter becomes hard. Serve with toasted baguette. And this version is extra rich because it has a layer of butter on top. And what could go better with bread than butter and chicken liver pate? It is so decadent, but so worth every calorie. The most important things when it comes to main dishes is something that's easy to put together, but that can still feed a lot of people and also is gonna satisfy everyone. Turkey is one of the best go-to holiday dishes, but apple butter glazed turkey is something that people are gonna keep talking about for weeks and we'll probably have you make it again next year. In a mixing bowl, combine three quarter cup of brown sugar, a half cup of apple butter, a half cup of orange juice concentrate, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half teaspoon of dry mustard, a third teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, and mix well. In a large slow cooker, add two pounds of carrots, four turkey tenderloins, and cover with apple butter mixture. Add in three rosemary sprigs and cook on high for one hour. After an hour, reduce to low and cook an additional five hours. Remove turkey from slow cooker. In a small mixing bowl, add three tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix well. Drain the juice from the slow cooker into a pan and bring to a boil. Add the cornstarch mixture. Cook for one minute. Remove from heat and drizzle over turkey. Top with orange zest and serve. The best part about this turkey is that it cooks in the slow cooker, so you can free up your oven, you can work on other things in there, and have everything ready without even having to stand over it and watch as it cooks. If you're gonna have a turkey on the table, you obviously need some dressing to go alongside it, so we love this cornbread variety because it's super savory and very satisfying and is just gonna really make your guests happy. Chop a pound of squash into cubes and add to boiling water. Once soft, remove from heat and spoon out the squash. Drain on a paper towel. In a pan, melt a fourth cup of butter and add in one large chopped sweet onion, a medium bell pepper, two chopped celery ribs, and saute for eight minutes. Once soft, add in one can of cream of chicken soup, three fourths teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of ground red pepper, half teaspoon of poultry seasoning, and a can of chicken broth. Stir well. Add in five cups of cooked cornbread and the cooked squash. Mix well and transfer to a baking dish. Bake at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. I love this cornbread and squash dressing because it's all the flavors we love with traditional dressing, but also has that unexpected kick with that squash. So it's a way for you to really modernize a fun recipe. So we've had these classy appetizers and these really satisfying main dishes, but the best part about dessert is that you can really have fun with it. These reindeer pops are really simple, easy to make, but such an A when it comes to presentation. Place a marshmallow at the top of a lollipop stick and coat in melted chocolate. Break pretzels in half and add halved pretzels to the top as antlers. Cut a red, chewy candy in half for the nose. Add pearl candies for the eyes. Sprinkle with crystal sugar for a snow effect. The reindeer pops are so cute, but couldn't be easier. The head is just a marshmallow, but when you dip it in chocolate and you add the pretzels for the antlers, you're really transforming it into an adorable character. These cheesecake Christmas trees are the perfect dessert because you hardly have to do anything. Most of it's already done for you. Cut a pre-made cheesecake into 12 wedges. Add mini chocolate bars at the bottom of each slice to make the tree trunk. Freeze for 10 minutes. Coat the cheesecake in fudge and freeze for another 10 minutes to let it set. Use green icing to create a wreath effect and cover it with edible glitter. Add a red candy at the top of each to get the full Christmas tree effect. Cheesecake Christmas trees could not be easier to make and they're so cute. You'll want to make them all year round. These almond snowballs are a classic holiday dessert because they're so easy to make and they're just little bites of sweet, buttery, crunchy perfection. 
In a mixing bowl, add two sticks of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of powdered sugar, and mix that all well. In a separate bowl, add two and a half cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a cup of toasted and finely ground almonds, and stir it all together. Add the almond mixture to the wet mixture. Stir until mixed well. Shape the mixture into balls and place on a baking sheet and bake at 325 degrees for 15 minutes. Place almond balls on a cooling rack and once they're cool, roll each in powdered sugar. It is so delicious. This list is so great because we've got your menu covered from top to bottom. We've got drinks, appetizers, main dishes, and desserts. They'll warm you up, they'll impress your guests, and best of all, they taste really good.